Okay, you've done your force analysis. Uh, you can check it now by comparing it to what we have here. For this situation, the spring scale accelerates downward. The same two forces exist on the scale as before, the weight of the object and the tension, but now the tension force will be less than the weight. Because the acceleration is downward, we'll pick the direction of plus to be down. And so the net force equation is F net equal. The tension force will now be a negative force because plus is down and tension is up. And the weight will be a positive force, again, because it's down and plus is down. Using Newton's second law, MA equal minus T plus MG. Rearranging the equation, bringing T over to the left side and MA to the right side the tension force is mg minus ma. So in this case, the tension force is smaller than the weight of the object. All right, we have one more problem to do with the spring scale. I have a little bit different situation here. Here's the scale. I, haven't I have the uh, scale turned away from you because I don't want you to see the reading yet. And uh, instead of me holding it, we have these strings holding it. On one side, we have a string going over a set of pulleys to our 10 Newton bottle of sand. This is the same one that we were holding in the uh, last series of demonstrations. On the other side, instead of me holding it, we have a second 10 Newton bottle of sand. So we have two uh, equal forces pulling on either direction on the scale. Each of those forces is 10 Newtons. So your problem is to predict what the scale reading is. Um, is it 10 Newtons? Is it zero? Do the forces subtract from each other? Is it 20 Newtons? Do the forces add to each other? So you make your prediction on the electronic form, write down uh, an explanation for the answer that you give, and then click on the link that you receive in order to come back to the video and see what the answer is.